The following is a special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And of course, presented by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, wherever else fine podcasts are listed. I have had, hello, my name is Ron Chuckett. Welcome to the pro, special program for this 10th day of January 2024. And so, I had a request on how to set up a tour in ASG Golf. The basics, setting up a tour, picking your players, and all, setting all your options up and all that. And so, I said, what the heck, let's do it. I haven't played anything in a while anyway, so we're going to go through the whole thing about that and your options and what I use and what's out there and and that. So if you're ready, if you're quite ready, so am I. Let's do this, shall we? All right. So here we are in the main ASG screen. I go to tour creation. Oh boy, is that small to read and you can't see a thing. It would be helpful. We did not have the exclusive window capture on. All right, so it wants a tour name. And let's just go with um, Ron's Demo. Okay, type that in there. Base prize fund, $5 million. You can change that to whatever you want. You want a million dollars? Great. We'll do $8 million. There we go. Okay. Auto prize fund. Yes. If you don't do that, then you can set it for each tournament. Auto cut. Basically, it's half the field. Don't do it if you don't like. Do it if you want. It just makes it a lot easier. You can choose playoff points. You can choose tour championship, which means that for your final event on tour, when you reach the tour championship, wherever that may be, I believe everyone starts with a certain score and goes from there. Just leave them blank. Now, default tour era. All depends on how you want your club set. Basically, the set of boards that you'll be playing with. Default 98 through 2004, that's the Tiger Age. So you're going to get longer drives and less roll. If you go modern, you're going to get a little bit of a shorter drive, but you're going to get more roll. 90s, 80s, 70s, and 60s. That's just a different set of boards for the computer. Um, shorter shorter courses, shorter off the tee. For this, we'll just go with default, and we'll create it. Now, start tour. Ron's demo. You see a whole bunch of options. Stroke play is what you're going to be doing most. So let's do that. Uh, tournament. Let's just go with the... Make sure that I'm doing this right. Dice. Classic. Okay. Did I spell it right? No. C, not S. Okay. So name the tournament. Now, under round one, anything listed in blue is a course is a shot by shot course that I own. So where should the digital dice to dice classic be? It would be probably be someplace around New England. Would be my guess. Do I have any New England courses? Yes, I have TPC Boston. So once you hit that once, it fills in for the for the, all four rounds. You can't have a five-round tournament. I don't recommend it. Now, category. This goes with points and all that. M is for major. A is a generic. If I select B, I believe the money fund will come down. Yep, $6.4 million. And C, it will go down to $4 million. But that's on the auto fund. Leave it at A. Now, there are different ways to play. 
We can do stroke play, which is what you see on most weekends. Stableford, which is positive points. If you remember the old international uh, and modified Stableford, which I don't want to get into. Okay, so we can, we're going to play the Digital Dice Classic at TPC Boston. And now, for the cut, I can establish anything I want. If I don't want to cut at all, it can be after round four. If I want a, round, a cut after round one, I can tell it that. The generic is round two, and it's going to go with, let's say, the top half there. Now, the 10-shot rule thing that you see there on the left side, it can work, which is how the majors used to work. So it was anyone within 10 shots, let's say. Playoff, you can tell which set which holes you want to play. The generic, which you would use for most weeks in a regular tour, 17 and 18. Then you play 18 till it's done. Now, you can set it, and it is in the instructions to do an entire round. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. And then you just set the minimum holes you are for a round. Um, if you're doing a modern major, you would probably say 15, 16, 17, 18, and then the minimum of four holes. So if you want a nine-hole playoff, you can. If you want a four-hole playoff, you can. You can do whatever your heart desires. All right, let's pick some players, shall we? Pick the card set you want to grab from. Let's go with the 2000s. Let's add them all. Let's go to select. Let's select all 88. Boom. Everyone's there. So from Phil Mickelson to Tiger Woods and all that. So let's save it. And it's all right there. Now let me get back to where are some options here. Options. This is tiny to read. All right. So these are for your tour kind of options. I want to make my font size bigger because I'm old. Um, okay, does that work? Ah, bigger. All right. So let's go into options. You can set your base prize fund. You can set your max stroke play entry. So if you never want more than 50 people playing, that's what you can do. Uh, auto prize fund, auto cut. We did that for for the at the beginning of the video. Now, global options, alternative scoring colors. I believe that birdies are in blue and bogeys are in yellow and everything is black. Pars. Putting animation, you can change that to your heart's desire. Sound effects is fully loud. You can go horizontal display, which is also how um, Action PC Golf lays it out. I don't like a horizontal display. I like the vertical. Things that you can change. You can have variable wind strength. I leave it checked. Dynamic weather, it can change over the course of a round. A casual round, which I've only seen in exhibition rounds. Shot lie rules, if you check that, if you're on a side hill lie, it will affect open game engine. That's the reason why we play this game, to show the shot analysis, display the aiming distance. You can have ball trails. You can have automatic putts, automatic tap-ins. You can concede putt during match play. Um, auto next shot for AI, auto next shot for all. That's all there. Now, if you want to roll your own dice, you can do that. You just click on the input main dice, input putting dice, input quick play dice, and press enter to confirm. So if you really want to roll them all out, you can. All right, we're going to do, first of all, we're just going to go here and start the round. I'm not really concerned about the conditions. I will go to the groups. Now, um, now one, you do this once on a tour, and it's good. So let's say you want to play Tiger Woods. 
That's all you do. You click on that left line there, and you see where it went from a line to play because I don't have my mouse on, but that's it. And so any event that Tiger Woods plays on your tour, he you're going to automatically control him, and he is in Group 10. So he's going to play with Chris DeMarco and Sean O'Hare. You want to watch a golfer? Let's say Brant Snedeker, just for giggles here. Once for play, two for watch. So you'd be able to watch his entire round if you so chose. We're going to leave that blank. You want to play out an entire group shot by shot. You go over to where it says group one, and you're playing it. And you will control all three for that round. Chris Riley, Brett Quickly, and Chad Campbell. You can also watch those three if you so choose. We aren't going to watch. Now, there are different options for playing in the tournament. I have most of these checked off because it just kind of slows down. Now, you can track golfers, too. All right, we'll start with lead changes. The game will stop, display, pause, or break. So break would be the game completely stops when someone jumps into the lead from round four if that was checked. But I could just set it to display that starting from round four or whatever round you'd like. Or pause. The same thing for into the tie for the lead and it's set for the first round. Again, I have these all unchecked. Someone falls out of the lead or out of the tie for the lead. You can set it to break, pause, or display. Scoring streaks. It will display if somebody has four birdies in a row from the top 50. You can set it however you want. Or five bogeys in a row. Again, I can pause the game or I can break the game. As in it would stop and then you'd have to restart it. I don't have any of those checks, I don't believe. Low round display if somebody is six under for the round. It'll tell me that so-and-so was six under for the round. They go out or back in 30 for the first round. It'll tell me who's done it and then move on. Now, hole options. It will tell me if someone's hit a hole in one or if someone's made an eagle in the top 10. You can set it for double bogey or another. You never want the dreaded other. You can track golfers. I really don't ask me how to do that. And there's dynamic tracking. So... Let's say you're just playing off on a side there. And I want to watch the leaders play the back nine. It'll stop on that Sunday and let me watch the back nine. Or within two from round four from there. So, you can, so if you're not interested in playing a golfer, you can watch a golfer. Watch how it plays out. I have, let me make sure I didn't check anything. I have um, playoff group there because if I'm not playing somebody and they get in the tournament, I want to uh, uh, get in the playoff. I want to watch the playoff. All right, match play options. You can break in all square after it's 16. Tell me when the match is over, when the golf goes dormant, extra holes. Okay? So there's a couple options there. And you only have to do this once. If you like what you have, save it as a master option. You got a golfer that didn't go it all that well, you just reset the tournament. Go down here. Do it all again. All right. Let's play a couple holes here. The wind change direction. Okay, we can move on now. And it tells you on the board who's doing what. All right, so this is the 10th group. So on the right would be the chart that we're reading each shot from. So there's the, the picture of the hole. 
and when I click show me the yardage book, it'll tell me where any hazards are in the hole and some of the yardage. And if you look behind the first screen, you see where it slopes. So you realize you don't want to miss the hole long. You can zoom in on the green, and it shows you how it slopes. I don't usually do that off the tee. AI is going to play for DeMarco. Crowd likes it. All right, so you read the die like this. Six is the first column. Three is the second. So you'd read that as a 63. Since he was using a three wood, we're going to see where it's highlighted. It's the W column on the card. I don't know why I'm do showing with the mouse because I have it disconnected there on the what you're seeing. So he rolled an 8 with that 63, and then you can see where it's bracketed. It was going to fly about 220 and roll 25. So around 245, the shot should be straight. And there are four 8s on his card. So the blue 4 would be the win card. I'm not sure how it goes left or right or whatever, but he hit it straight. Well, there was about a 5 to the right. Some of that stuff is kind of hidden. It's in the game instructions, so don't ask me what that green six does. I have no idea. All right, so Tiger Woods. What's Tiger going to do? All right, so we know that he has a tailwind to the left, 88% and a crosswind. We know that that wind is going to make the shot 10 yards longer off the tee. The left to right, me being minus 10 is that that shot is going to blow for right to left about 10 yards. So I see the bunker there. I think that's where I want to aim it. I know I'm going to get 10 yards, and if Tiger hits it square, then that's going to move to the target 10, 10 yards to the left. So I'm going to select a 2-iron for Tiger. Now, you see where that left to right change from minus 10 to minus 5? I'm going to move my target a little bit. I don't want to be playing close to that bunker. I really want it in the middle of the fairway. I don't want to hit a knockdown. I don't want to hit a punch, and we're not drawing or fading. You can if you want. but So my two iron should go about 260. I'm getting 10 on the roll. So 270, that target there is just for grins and giggles. It does not mean that I'm overhitting it to get to 281. It's just where I'm visualizing where I want that shot to land. Wish me luck. Well, not a great shot. So I look at a 5-2, and you see where that 27 is highlighted on the bottom right. And I look up to see 27, a flight of 210, a roll of 20, and a wind change of 25. I got a little lucky there. Like I said, the blue die controls the wind. So I'm in the rough. I've missed the fairway. This is an easy hole. We'll get to my second shot in a minute. Now, Sean O'Hare is going to play a three-wood. By the way, the pictures go into your documents folder there'll be a, the game will make a folder in there and that's where all your goodies go when he rolled he rolled a three one for a four so that's a pretty good shot he's got 99 yards all right now because i'm under 125 yards and there's some wind i'm going to read from the short wedge shots so what I'm going to ask the computer to do is give me a line where I should be aiming here, precisely on the green. And it says I should go right for the pin. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take my pitching wedge. I rolled a 6 and a 2, which came out to a 3. That should have been good. But one of those die led that to be two yards short and three yards wide to the left and that's how i ended up in the bunker again that's all described within the game now demarco 
in good shape here. You can see the rolls you don't want. Essentially outside of 12, 24, and 36 as that second column number, the lower the number, the better you're going to be. Eight's pretty good. So he rolled two yards past and one yard left, and he's got about 10 to 12 feet for birdie. Now O'Hare will read off the 100 to 76-yard chart, and they break them down into 25-yard chunks once you go into shorter wedge. Well, he can't do much better than that. He's got about three feet. All right, Tiger. Tiger's steaming here. Again, just go right at it. Again, the lower the result, you see the eye column, that's all of his iron shots. The lower the number, or multiple of 12, the better. He rolled a three, and he's going to have a tap in for par. All right. Putting is pretty easy. There's no tricky green or blue die. It's just the two die. Again, the lower the number in the column, and it says right there. So he's going to, there are five putting charts in the game, one being flat and five being Augusta on a bad day. And obviously, there are 10 comp dice rolls that will sink this putt. Usually it's for, um, just for a general rule of thumb, that number should match the number on the card. So if he rolls a single digit, it should be in. There's one that's a question mark. 13 more putts will just be a tap in. One to three. There's nine chances of that, and he can blow it by three times out of 36. And those dice rolls are going to be 24. Uh, let's see. 65. 68. 69. Because they're all 30. So the lower the number on the play result number, the better off you're going to be. He rolled a 46, which is a 30. So he missed the putt. That was not a good putt. But he'll have a tap in for his par. Now, he will make the putt 35 out of 36 times. If he rolls the dreaded 2-4. Then the computer will re-roll behind the scenes and the column on his card marked short putt or the line on his card marked short putt. You want that number to be good. So he essentially if he rolls that, if he rolls a 2-4, he's got a 50-50 chance of making it if he rolls that number. So he is a 35 and a half chance out of 36 he makes this putt. Never can go wrong with doubles. That's a one, and that's an easy putt. All right, Tiger, three feet for par. Same deal. Don't roll a two-four. Six-one is a twenty-two. It's a mediocre putt, but it does the job, and he's in with a par. Now, O'Hare, same deal. Can't go wrong with doubles. Ever. So now we'll, we'll play one more hole and call it thing. All right. So, of course, O'Hare has the honor. Par 5, 542 yards. He's going to go with a driver. And you see on 12 and 24 on the right, that says to use a long drive chart. And then underneath it, you see the long drive chart for 12 with a roll of 1 to 6, 1 being better. And then the long drive chart for 24. O'Hare is going to drive Miss Daisy here. I hope he went long. Oh, he did. He did. He rolled a 2-24, one, one so it's a 24. And that green 3, I'm assuming, is what we're going to use. So it, we know it flew 20, 285 and rolled 35 for 320. But he's hitting it into a 20-yard wind. He'd still be able to get home from 2, if he so chose. We'll let DeMarco hit his shot. That can stay. Yeah, it did. Not sure he'll be able to get home, but it got there. 
All right. So Tiger's aim point is in Rhode Island. So we look at the yardage book. Okay. It's a flat hole. We're not getting any advantage or disadvantage from the golf course itself from the ground. Okay. The bunkers aren't deep. Distance-wise, we're going to lose 20. So that 310 with a one wood or the driver is going to be 290. And the shot will drift left to right five yards. So that bunker is at 282. I want to aim at 309 or 311. I just want to put it a little bit left. Always take the broad part of there. Now, Tiger can bomb this to kingdom come. In fact, he's got six 12s on his cards. If he rolls a double, it's, it's a 12, and he can go 350 yards. And I don't think you care if you're in the rough at that point. All right, so if he hits this well, he can get home in two. He's getting home in two, unless the wind kind of takes that away. So it went 280. The wind killed at 20. There was a gust of one. So this is on the computer game, by the way. So it was 259. The wind direction really didn't matter. The shape faded at four. And because it was... I'm not sure why we lost on the roll, but he got an additional 30 yards for 289. It shows you all that stuff. All right, DeMarco is going to lay up with a four iron. And we'll have a short wedge shot over the water for his third. O'Hare, six iron. He's going to lay up. Miss that one left. He missed it. A 5 2 is a 30, and you can see where it's highlighted. That's just. Ugh, ugh. All right, 264. I'm going to go for this with a 3 wood. You cannot use a driver off the deck in this game. So my distance is minus 15. So I'm kind of hoping we get 260 out of this. But that pin is in the back. So I think I am going to be dry. The whole point here is to be dry. I'm just going to aim it right at the flag and channel my inner Tiger Woods. All right. Unfortunately, I channeled my 2023 Tiger Woods. So I dunked it in the water, and it's going to be three choices. I can re-hit from where I was. I can drop backwards, or I can drop where the ball crossed the hazard. I don't want to re-hit. I'm going to drop it backwards and play my fourth. All right, O'Hare has to hit an 8-iron out of the rough. Good for you, Sean. Now I got 136. I'm adding 5, 141. I'm going to play a 9, and I'm not going to knock it down because the rough can either make this a really good shot or you can literally just get your club caught. And you see 12, 24, and 20, or 36 use your iron rating, and tire, Tigers is a 3. So we would use read the 3 result. There's a lot of 3s. I hit it a little too hard. Got a little too much ball. DeMarco nearly hold it for an eagle. All right, so once again, he can't putt from here. And he's in the rough. So we're just going to hit a little delicate little chip right at the flag for par. You can hold those. All those that you see in would have been in. Now, O'Hare... Now, over 20 feet, you have the option to lag. Go for the safer putt. You're less likely to hold it, or you're not going to hold it, but you're going to leave yourself in a position more often than not where you can make your par, and that's why we play the game. All 
All right, DeMarco, 11 feet. Any single-digit dice roll here is going to work. No. A 5-2 is a 35. That's the second worst dice roll you can get. So he's going to actually have four feet for par. And so, Tiger, just clean us up. So we go back. You get to the summary. Chad Campbell, Ian Poulter. I don't like Rory Sabatini. Just, just put it out there. And so that's the basics of how to get started, how to set up a tour, and all that. If you'd like any more on this, just let me know in the comments. I will be glad to do it. It's my favorite golf game. I don't usually tell you what my favorite games are, but... I really, really do enjoy this one. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you the next time. Have a good night.